So, did you ever wonder how all of those really great cakes out there have that beautiful shine on them? And you would love to be able to do that. So you've tried it, maybe using some water, and you find that it does nothing but make a mess of your cake. Well, the secret is using vodka, or you can use like a, a lemon a lemon juice, something acidic. What's great about using vodka, if you do a, a nice thin layer, and it dries really nice, but leaves this really great shine. So what we're going to do is, because we're going to be doing a leopard print, for this design, I'm going to show you step by step how easy it is to do a leopard print. It is so easy. You're going to smack yourself after this. First thing I want to do is I want to give this some shine because leopard print, it's a bit snazzy. So I'm going to take some vodka that I have. I use very cheap vodka. No point in using the good stuff. And I start wherever there is the camel color. I do my black last. If you do your black first, you're going to smear black onto your onto your camel colored design and we don't want that. So I'm just am moving around painting very simply anywhere that I see camel color. If you get some on the black, it's not a big deal. If you smudge, you can always cover it up with a leopard print. That's no biggie. You work your way around the shoes. And it adds a bit of a shine and it makes it look really pretty. Little steps like this that kind of set your designs apart from all the rest out there. Get in there, make sure that I've gotten underneath my my strap on both sides. Give it a quick look through, see if you've missed any spots, and if you did, go back and cover. And it looks like we've gotten it, so now it's starting to get this kind of real pretty sheen to it. Lastly, I do the black. And as I said, it doesn't take much vodka, so don't put too much on your brush. You're just going to go around and put too much. It starts to just kind of bleed down onto your plate, and it doesn't look very pretty. So we're going to do the black too. This is what's going to make your cakelet design almost look like you sculpted this and it's not edible, but it is completely edible and delicious. That shine just adds that extra special touch though. So if ever you have a design out there that you have to do and it, it would look a lot better if it had some kind of a shine to it. Get out your vodka and a paintbrush. You certainly don't need to be an artist to do it. And I'm going to come in, put some on my strap. Black looks great when you give it a shine with vodka. It's fabulous. All right, the next part is the leopard print. Now what I do is I use some black petal dust. I did a combination of brown and yellow. This is my brown and yellow. It's kind of a taupey colored. This is my black. Both of them are petal dusts, but I do use a luster dust copper color to add an accent to the leopard print. First thing I do is I start out using black. I always start out using black. And the key to this, to the leopard print design, is random. Random, random. So start anywhere you want. And what I do is I almost do um, an, a completed oval. And I just pat it. But I don't always connect it. Sometimes I do. And if you find that your color is a little bit translucent, and then that means you should add a little bit more petal dust or just wait and it will um, it will evaporate out. And then that way you can use some different shapes. Um, do different sizes. As you can see, it's just kind of 
patting it. Um, you don't always have to do circles, you can do C's. The goal is random, so you just want to press away, and you're starting to see it come to life. At first, it's kind of scary putting your paintbrush to fondant, you know? For some people, you know, it, especially if you're not used to it. You're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to mess this up. If you want to start out painting on your fondant, this is a really great design to do that with. The next color you're going to use is that taupey color I talked about. Um, and if you see that it's starting to dry on you and getting too thick, like this is too thick, just add a little bit more vodka to it. When I say a little, I mean a little. I do not recommend drinking while doing this. You could wind up with a zebra print. Heard it happen. Okay, so what we're going to do now is in the middle section of these U's, we're going to start to dab, and you want the colors to kind of mesh together. So it doesn't look like these three different colors are just kind of sitting together. This is adding a shadow or a brightness to what's already there. And if a little bit of it starts to turn gray because it's touching the because it's touching the black, that's okay. Because if you ever really look at a zebra print pattern, it's extremely random, even the even the colors. So you just want to go as natural as possible. And as I said, just kind of smearing or dabbing. I wouldn't necessarily brush. I would just kind of dab as you go. And I hope you guys do give this a try because it's a lot of fun and it's very easy. And just think how good this looks on purses and little mini two tiers. We've done those before. Those were a lot of fun. After I've done that, I give it a once over and I look to make sure that I've added that color to all of our all of our black luster dust ones. You know, I missed one right there, so I'm gonna go back in and just add a little bit. The final color we do is copper, and when you do copper, this is a luster dust. So we just do sparingly, just a little bit, like a little bit of a dab to add some more depth to your design, and you'll see how it kind of comes together. And then it just brings out another shade to the to the leopard print. I think it really makes it kind of come alive and. And pop. I'm painting, painting, and painting. Now would be a time if anyone had a good joke. No. If anyone wanted to maybe sing some karaoke to me. So, there you have it. A beautiful sandal cakelet with a charming leopard print, shiny, glitzy, gorgeous, the perfect gift, the cutest dessert, a wonderful favor. We hope you enjoy the sandal, and don't forget... Please post all of your designs on our Facebook page because we love to see what everyone else out there is making as far as our cakelets are concerned. Or if you're making your own cakelet design, post it so we can see it. So here you have it. This is our leopard print sandal design, our cakelet. It's shiny. It's glamorous. It's beautiful. I love it. Great for a gift. Great for the recipient of a party. Great for a favor. And I can tell you that if each of your guests get one of these, this will be a party that will be talked about well after the party is over. And happy holidays from Cupcake Envy. Bye.